Shane Heal hits a three to start out. And Shane Heal hits another three, and this time he had a defender. Heal for another three. He's got it. Shane Heal with 25 points. All right, Shane, who's this lovely young lady right here? This is my third child, Shyla. Little Shyla B. I have two older sisters that always played basketball growing up, um, so I always was at their rep games, and basketball was pretty much just always there, and I was just born into it. Here we go. Okay, keep going. I want you to shoot five. Children of champions don't always follow their parents into the big time. It's not easy to carry that okay. weight of expectation. But there's something special happening in basketball right now. A new, fearless generation of players has been training to surpass their mothers and fathers. Last one, between your legs. Okay. Brilliant ball control there from Heal. Gets it back, and the look for three. He's shot at Heal's just going to step back off the dribble. We'll get another opportunity to score. Three, Charlotte Heal. Ah, remember the name, ladies and gentlemen. She's a future superstar. We've trained since I was about six, seven, for so many hours in the driveways, at stadiums, in all different states. So I definitely wouldn't be here without him, and I'm so lucky to have him. I said that I'd help you, but you know, you see when people are special that they do the extra work over and above when they're not told to, and she's always done that. No, I've never had to push her. Four-time Olympian Shane Heal is now a coach. In 2020, when leagues were shut down, he helped Shyla prepare to be drafted into America's Women's National Basketball Association, by far the best in the world. All right, let's get some shots. Most prospects go through the American college system first, but Shyla has always wanted to get there quicker. She's been dominating Australia's WNBL. Heel got it away and oh! in! And she's already in the Australian Opal squad. When you're at college, you have to wait four years to get drafted. So it's been three years since I've been playing in the WNBL and now my draft year's come up. So that's why I stayed in Australia and starting to pay off. Now Barkley and Shane Heal at midcourt have yeah. to be separated by the official. The Heal name is still well known in America, decades after Shane dared shape up to superstar Charles Barkley when the Boomers played against the Dream Team. I sort of get asked about that, not every day now, it was 24 years ago, 25 years ago, but every second day. So it's sort of been an imprint in a lot of um, people's minds that Aussies sort of don't take a backward step and are, are ready for the challenge. Anchor foot, left foot, power that thing up. No dribble, at the rim though. Other families transforming the sport include the Ansties. Isabel Anstey, daughter of NBA centre Chris, is in Melbourne, waiting for COVID clearance to go and take up her university scholarship in California. There's so many athletes my age that have parents that have played in the 90s that I think there's this whole next generation and I think it's good to see it's not only the boys that are the next generation it's the girls too. It's going to be fun watching these girls over the next 10 or 15 years it's going to be fun watching the boys. It's a fun era of Australian basketball for, for us old guys. The WNBA draft arrived last Friday and Isabel Anstey was there to support her friend. Shyla Heal was expected to go top 10. The Chicago Sky select Shyla Heal from Australia. I'm so proud of her. Like, I've never seen somebody work so hard. I've visualised and pictured this moment since I was a little girl so many times, and now that it's actually happening, it feels like a dream. She'll soon fly to the home of basketball, where old players like Charles Barkley have long memories. And Shane, number one, I want to congratulate you on your daughter. But, but then you, you are so lucky I didn't kill your ass did you at say the Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.